G'day joiners, Wes Dan here from the Down Under Sensor. The first, th uh, the, well the reason for this video is to run through what's involved in the skills assessment process uh, for a joiner and a little bit about um, uh, what we do as a business through the Down Under Sensor and Australia Trade Training College. The first point I want to make um, with that is each occupation has what we class as an ANSGO code. Now uh, we're based here in the UK and they, we notice a lot of people call us up saying that they're a joiner where in fact they're a carpenter. So one of the main things is the difference between a carpenter and a joiner. A carpenter is more bearer's joist, first fix, second fix. Um, if you're doing all that sort of work then um, jump on our carpentry uh, webpage. If you've got any questions, our phone's always on. Um, a lot of people in the UK, for example, and other parts of the world, they might have completed an apprenticeship um, in carpentry and joinery. That's absolutely fine. Um, but for the purpose of a skills assessment as a joiner, there's a few key differences to what a carpenter is. So just think about um, maybe if you're not on site and you're more uh, working in a joinery workshop, bench joinery, then joiners obviously for you then if you, again, if you're not too sure, then feel free to give us a call. Now, I mentioned about the ANSGO code. So something for a joiner is someone, the scope of that is someone who can cut shape and fit timber components in a, uh, in a workshop to form structures uh, ready for installation. Example, um, uh, a, cab a bit of cabinet making sort of work, windows, door units, furniture, staircases, balustrades, etc. Uh, duties, uh, you'd be to set up and use, uh, maintain static workshop uh, machinery. Also develop, read, interpret, uh, joinery workshops, shape, manufacture, joining components and, and pieces. So the joinery skills assessment is a little bit different to the carpentry skills assessment. The way that um, the actual skills assessment is delivered is, is, is similar, but I do want to make a be quite strong with that. We do get lots of people call us up thinking that their joiners were in fact their carpenters. So have a look at the carpentry page. Now, um, who delivers the skills assessments for, uh, for joiners? So Australia Trade Training College is TRA approved to deliver the skills assessments for our joiners. Now, why is a skills assessment relevant? A skills assessment is mandatory if you are looking to apply for a skilled visa. And the reason why it is required is when you're applying for a visa, immigration can't just have people saying, oh, I'm a joiner, you know, I'd like to migrate. You've got to be on the skilled list. So the first thing um, you would do guys is jump onto our website, um, put your details in for the free visa points calculator. We don't charge any money for consultations and we don't want anyone um, completing a skills assessment if they don't have um, the, you know, they're not going to be eligible for a, for a visa. So a skills assessment is required for the purpose of a visa. What is involved in a skills assessment? The skills assessment is broken into two stages. Stage one is uh, paper base. So we call it a documentary assessment. It's for you to prove on paper you have the necessary skills. Now, the minimum requirement to get through a skills assessment as a joiner is you have, you, you've, either, you've got two options. You either have an N, if you're from the UK, for example, you'd have an NVQ level three in joinery and three years of paid work experience, pre or post qualification. If you don't have an NVQ level three, maybe you learn, um, you know, you just learn on site, you never go around to get the NVQ level three, that's fine, but you'd be required to prove that you've got five years of full-time paid work experience. They don't have to be all together, as long as you can prove 12 months in the last 36 months of industry currency. Again, any questions, give the Down Under Center a call and we'll be able to um, uh, answer them. The first part of the skills assessment is the documentary assessment, it's the hardest part. If you've got more than the three years of paid work experience and your NVQ level three or no NVQ level three and five years of experience, what you're expected to provide um, would be pay documents, tax documents. Now, they're obviously going to vary if you're self-employed uh, or employed. Um, photos, videos, uh, detailed references, qualifications, etc. Uh, this is where you're proving to the assessor that you hold the necessary skills as a joiner. The second part of the skills assessment is you'll have a technical interview with um, one of Australia Trade Training College's uh, joiners, who's uh, an Australian qualified joiner, but also is a qualified trainer and assessor. Now, the assessor's job is to tick boxes. It's for them, you, um, you have to provide that you've got enough experience and how they do that is by units of competency. So at completion of the skills assessment, you'll be issued with the document you need for the visa, the TRA skills assessment, and you'll also be issued with your full Australian uh, qualification. So that's why we need as much information as possible. The cost 
for a schools assessment for a joiner is uh, these costs have been set up by TRA, which is the Department of Immigration, uh, and trade, uh, stand for Trades Recognition Australia. The cost is 1280 Australian dollars for the documentary assessment, the paper-based. Once that's marked, Australia Trade Training College go back to um, TRA and say, we deem, you know, we're, we're, we're satisfied. Um, they'll then um, charge you 2000 Australian dollars, and that is for the technical Skype interview. A completion of that allow around about two weeks for us to come back uh, with the uh, with the result, and uh, that will come back via your official TRA certificate for the purpose of a visa, as well as your full Australian qualification as a joiner, which employers absolutely love because it means that uh, if you're working with you know um, bench joining machinery and all of that, they want to know that you can work to a safe standard, and by having that qualification, uh, means a lot to Australian employers. How do you find a job as a joiner in Australia? So there's lots of opportunities in Australia for joiners. Uh, there's building all over Australia uh, at present, and there always has been. It's an industry um, that we're always screaming for. Well, Australia's always screaming for as many joiners as you can get your hands on. There's lots of labour hire companies, also uh, there's obviously recruitment companies, but lots of employers are out there looking for English-speaking skilled migrants. Um, we um, work with lots of uh, joiner employers, uh, we do that through the DUC Employment Hub. Um, so we've got, uh, we do work with many employers in that area. Uh, the beauty of it is, is where um, we have uh, English speaking skilled migrants arriving with their full Australian qualification and visas. We're not, we are not a recruitment company, so we work with the employers. Um, if you can get offered a job before you leave, it obviously makes a big difference to whereabouts in Australia you want to live. Uh, also, where you're going to put the kids in school, etc. cetera. Um, some of our um, employers will um, supply you uh, with all the tools and everything like that because you are, uh, you know, you will be set up maybe sort of like in a factory or a workshop uh, in, in, in any designated area of Australia. So there is work in Australia and the Down Under Centre can help you with that. So uh, probably the next step would be to call our UK office um, or, flick, or flick one of our team an email, uh, fill in the points calculator, see if you've got enough and we can um, definitely help you uh, through that process. So the Down Under Centre uh, works with migrants through the visa process but also works with you guys to gather what's required for the skills assessment. We know exactly what's required for joiners it's our bread and butter. This is what we do as a business, and you know we've helped lots of joiners, um, you know, fulfil their dreams and get to Australia. So check out our testimonial page um, if you like. Any questions? Our phone's always on, and um, good luck in Australia. Cheers, guys.